the cat who ate oranges. There once was a cat that did not like mice. It did not like fish. It did not like treats. The only thing this cat liked were oranges. A very odd thing for a cat to eat. The cat was owned and petted, groomed and bathed by a little girl named Sally. Her sisters and brothers made fun of her cat who ate oranges. Sally didn't care. She loved her cat. One day, Sally was alone at home with her cat, and a great wind rattled the house. It blew so hard it lifted the whole house into the air, hurling it far away. The house crashed in a strange land where all the vegetables were alive. It was ruled by King Cabbage, a smelly old thing. He had an asparagus army, a nectarine navy, and an artichoke air force. When Sally and her cat arrived, she was arrested by the prune police. Then put on trial by Judge Papaya with a jury of fruits and vegetables. What was the charge? Not being a vegetable. Sally was not a vegetable, so she was found guilty and was sentenced to death by juicing. Sally was taken to the town square. A seven-foot-tall hooded fruit tried to roll over Sally and juice her. But the girl dodged, then dodged again, then pulled the hood off the fruit. It was a giant orange underneath. The crowd gasped and Sally's cat purred. The cat sprang into action, eating the giant orange in less than a minute. The crowd was shocked. King Cabbage was shocked and afraid. What if the cat ate him? Suddenly, King Cabbage was giving Sally gold, silver and jewels. He freed her and offered to marry her to the Cabbage Prince. Sally just wanted to go home, so King Cabbage ordered his people to carry her and her house back to her own land. House safely back, Sally's older brothers and sisters returned. They make fun of Sally's cat who was in the corner, licking orange sticky off its paws. Sally didn't care. She had a chest full of gold, silver and jewels. And a cat who ate oranges. <laughs>